Hi Terry, how are you? Hi, I'm good, thank you. Good stuff. Um, so, fight week, we're finally here. How are you feeling? I'm excited. Um, now we're here in the bubble. Um, obviously all tests have been passed, so uh, that's what I'm most nervous for. I don't know why, I think whenever you get a test you, you're a bit nervous about results. But um, yeah, we're all clear and we're all good and um, I'm settled and I'm just, I'm just enjoying it. Hey, give us an insight, what's it like in there? What's the bubble like? Um, it's like my day-to-day -day life, really, I could say. Uh, no, we got here, we unpacked, we unpacked the van, and then literally you, you, you walk in, tell you the like, debrief everything to you, um, then you're straight in for your test, um, and then I whip straight to my hotel room, and then that, that were it all day yesterday, and I just, I just literally um, then my food in my hotel room, and I, I just chilled and watched, watched what I wanted. <laughs> uh, obviously, slightly lead slightly different preparation how everything is uh how are you coping with that seems like you you're enjoying it and you're just taking it all in yeah it's uh we, this morning we had his um the first like training session i was just we were just steady cardio so we went to gym for half an hour um we andrew and ray obviously you have to book your time slots and stuff and then i literally just went back to hotel room um got a shower and that freshened up for for you guys <laughs> i washed my hair for y'all <laughs> have you had a chance to uh, have a look at fight camp in, in the flesh and see what it's like? No, I believe that's we we only get to see that on Friday when we when we actually go to the venue to fight. Did you watch it at the weekend to see what it was like? Yeah, um, it was amazing, really. Give me goosebumps in it, and I was just thinking, this is me next week. Awesome. Uh, well, good luck to you. Thank you. Cheers. Okay, David Anderson from the Mirror. Do you want to come up next, mate? Hi, Terry. You okay? Hi. Thank you. Terry, I'm just thinking, here you are, just your 10th pro fight, defending your WBC title in an historic fight against Jonas, the first all-British female world title fight. Do you have to pinch yourself? Like, I know it's no place, but you know how far you've come since working in the chip shop in Danaby. Here you are now, you know, making history in only your 10th pro fight. Yeah, um, crazy. Ne like, never in a million years would think we'd be in this position. And, and the fact that we're here so soon as well. Like you said, it wasn't that long ago working in the chip shop, but um, but I, I'm just I'm just loving it, and uh, I'm just rolling with it, and I'm just en enjoying them every moment really, and just uh, soaking everything in. Yeah. Do you, Do you look at things like the fact that uh, Jonas's only defeat was to, to Vivian Obanoff, you know, who you have beaten? Really, does that sort of show you that you're you're great above? Jonas. Uh, not really. Don't, we haven't really read too much into that. Obviously, people have the off nights, don't they? Um, and I believe that will one of Tasha's off nights. So we prepared for the best version of Tasha. Um, obviously, Joe had said a few things like she's gone back. She's like the old amateur Tasha. So uh, we've just prepared for everything that she could possibly uh, fetch on the night. It was just thinking, like, obviously, uh, Tasha came to prominence during the 2012 Olympics. We all remember that. That was a, a great occasion when she was there. But I'm just thinking, you were only 15 then. Do you, do you remember watching like the Katie Taylor fights? So what, what, um, what was that like? Uh, yeah, so like I said, I'm only 15, but um, I can't, I can't really remember re watching the fight live. I don't, I don't know what I was doing. Um, but I, I have watched it numerous times on yeah. YouTube after, and I just think, wow, that was, that was really amazing. Um, special moment for women's boxing. Yeah, because that must have made a big impact. Of course, Nick Adams, you know, winning gold and stuff. You know, did, did you feel that was a big moment? Like, I know, are you just were you just about to quit at that point? I mean, was that was it sixteen? You dropped out of boxing the first time, uh, Terry? Or yeah, just just turned sixteen. That's when I dropped out. Um, that's a stupid reasons when you're young, you think you know best. Um, but like I said, now that that for me, what. Probably, probably the best thing that I could have done really and it's, it made me realise how much I do love, love the sport and now I'm back here I just I, I love every minute and um, I'm dedicated 110% to the sport Great Terry thank you very much good luck Friday okay. Ron Lewis do you want to jump in mate? Hi Terry how are you well um, obviously Tasha through the experience of 2012 has had big fights before your, your big world title win, you weren't top of the bill. This time you are. Are you somebody who gets nervous? And uh, have you been dealing with this sort of pressure on you? Do you know what? When I was amateur, I was, I was terrible with my nerves. Um, 
like you know, I think that's the one thing that probably brought to my disadvantage on my nerves. But uh, since I've come back as pro, I've kind of learned to how to deal with them. And the fact that I, I just enjoy these moments now. Obviously, you're nervous. Um, you're not human if you don't get if you're you're not nervous. But um, for me, there's no there's there's pressure, but not like not nothing compared to when I went out and fought either in front of six thousand people at Sheffield Arena. It, I had my own crowd, um, I knew people invested a lot in me for this WBC World title and I had a lot of pressure on, on me that night to win and uh, I stepped up to the occasion and I came out as the new. Um, is this the first time, um, yeah. I, you boxed in Manchester once didn't you, but what was the last time you actually woke up on fight morning not at home? Because last time in Sheffield I imagine you'd have just driven from home to the flight. Because you got four nights in a hotel thinking about it and surrounded by boxers here. Does that is that something new to you? Um, so time for that for Manchester would have been Nottingham when I boxed on the next gen card. Obviously, I want a matchroom fighter then. Um, but yeah, I really I really enjoy this coming away from home and especially this time I, I've enjoyed the uh, total isolation in my room and. and this, is, this week now I get to fully concentrate on the fight, I've got no distractions and um, like I miss Jenna but like I haven't got Jenna that's hiding me, distracting me from the fight if you know what I mean. It's just me, Andrew and Ray, just, just the three of us and um, that's all we need and we're just focused fully on the fight. Who's doing the cooking or are you uh, getting stuck into the buffet or whatever there is? No, I'm doing, I'm doing my own cooking. Um, I met my salmon last night and I was I getting scared that I was going to set some fire alarms off, but luckily all's good. Um, I just brought an induction of and uh, George Foreman grill, so um, just until I weigh in and then I'm going to order a nice Nando's into, into the room. Excellent. Okay, next up we've got Press Association, Sean Taylor. Hi, Terry. Yeah. Hi, um, I just wondered, how, how is this fight different from the last two, especially the previous one? Because um, it, it looked like, were you been more on the front foot in this fight? Right? It looked like you were looking for her to come forward when you won the title and maybe looking to pick her off and let her make the mistake. Were you been more on the front foot on Friday night? Um, so, I want to make it my fight. I want to fight at my pace. Um, Tasha never done 10 rounds, so I want to see how I want to see how she does at an eye pace. Um, watching a few of Tasha's fights, you can see that she kind of gets into plodding, kind of, and uh, a lot more slow pace than what I'm used to. So, yeah, I do want to put the pressure on her, and uh, we'll just see how it works out. Do you think she's got more to prove than you at, at, at this level? Uh, I believe so. Um, every time I've been. Uh, every time I've been put in there with tougher opponents or something on a big occasion, I've always stepped up to the occasion. Um, whereas Tash, she hasn't she not really proven herself as a professional. She's she's the one that's come from the elite, uh, amateurs, the elite amateurs, the Olympics. She should be the one that's in my position now as a champion, but she's not. So me personally, she's 36 years old. Um, I personally think this is her last opportunity. Thanks, Terry. That's all for me. Good luck on Friday. Yeah. Okay, uh, we've got Jake on the call, Jake Donovan. Okay, we'll move on to the next one then. Um, if you go to... You can set... Ready when you are, Dan. Sorry, mate, you Wi-Fi <laughs> cut out, so I didn't realise it was me next. Um, how you doing, Terry? I'm good, thank you. Someone's already mentioned, of course, it's the first um, British all-female world title fight, which is a big thing in itself. I think it's also the first time an openly gay female fighter has headlined um, anywhere in the world, not just in the UK. Um, female specifically, I know Orlando Cruz has done it for, for the men. How much do you let yourself think about that stuff, regardless of the fight and the, the threat Tasha poses, the kind of greater context of it all? Uh, so for me, I just focus on the fight. Um, I know boundaries are being being broken, and I've, I've broken a lot of boundaries and made some history um, from in my last fights. But yeah, all I focus on is is the, is the job ahead. And 
I spoke to Tasha last week and she was saying the only thing she was worried about in terms of matching you was the fitness aspect and she's got herself into the shape of her life. Do you feel sometimes your boxing skills are undervalued because people do focus a lot on your fitness and your work rate? I don't know, I don't know why people are always going about the fitness because I, I haven't really gone through, through the gears yet. Nothing compared to what I've, I've shown in the gym, but obviously I know sparring and and the fight is completely different but I still I still aren't showing everyone everything and um, there's a lot of layers to me um, and I just think me fighting Tasha a good opponent it's just it's only going to fetch the best out of me and um, I'm excited for the opportunity to show everyone what else I can do. Thanks Terry. Thank you.